are you wondering what sort of foods are served on Semester at Sea? How many options you have, how healthy they are, and what to do about dietary restrictions? Well, you are lucky because all of that is going to be answered in this video right now. So please like and subscribe to support my channel and let's get into everything you need to know about eating on Semester at Sea. I'm going to talk you through basically an entire day of eating and all of your options that are available for you at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then also talk about the options that are available for purchase at all of the snack bars on the ship. And I'm going to be talking about these from the perspective of the Berlin restaurant, which is on deck 6, as opposed to the Lido restaurant on deck 9, and they're the exact same. They have the same food and the same like buffet style serving yourself, but the layouts are different. Everyone likes one of the restaurants better, Berlin or Lido, and I liked Berlin better. I was team Berlin, so that's what I'm gonna talk about with you guys. Obviously, let's start with breakfast. But before I start, I'm gonna say that above every item on the buffet, on the glass, they have written what the item is and what is in it. So if you have any dietary restrictions or allergies, you know if it's safe for you to eat. So they're gonna say if it's vegetarian, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, or has nuts in it so you know what you're eating. So I think that breakfast opens at 6.30 a.m. and closes at 8.30 a.m. And for the Berlin restaurant, they have the food basically divided into like a hot section of buffet and a cold section. So for breakfast, I'm gonna call them like hot and cold areas. And then there's some other stations set around the restaurant also, but for the other meals, I'm gonna call them like hot food and then like salad bar. So for the selection of hot foods that you have for breakfast, these choices are on a four day rotation. So there will always be an egg option available like scrambled over easy or some type of omelet. And then there'll be a meat option, which is bacon, sausages, ham, or corned beef. And then there's either a potato or a bean option. So savory and like baked beans or wedge potatoes and hash browns. And then there will always be a pancake sort of option that will be plain pancakes, banana pancakes, apple pancakes, or French toast. And I can't tell you what like combination these foods will be in together, but I can tell you that once these foods are served in a certain order, like let's say it was like scrambled eggs, bacon, like baked beans and banana pancakes, then this same bundle of foods will be available four days later so it rotates like that, if that makes sense. As for my opinions on these foods, the eggs are okay but always sort of runny, so some people really did not like that, but the omelets are very good. The pancakes never really excited me because they didn't have any good sort of syrup on the ship. And then there is one type of hash browns that is really good and these are the ones that are more fried, but they're worse for you, but they're really good. So I usually ended up making some sort of protein breakfast bowl with the eggs and the baked beans and sometimes I put in sausage if I was feeling it. So that's it for the hot section for breakfast. So then on the way to the cold section or like the salad bar area that it is for the other meals, you'll pass pastries like danishes and muffins and you'll pass oatmeal and the cereals. So this also takes some explanation. So the oatmeal station also rotates every three days between oatmeal, cornmeal, and creamed wheat and has toppings. And then the cereals are literally a toss up. You have no idea what they're gonna be. And sometimes they're pretty bland like cornflakes and special K, but special K is okay if you put like honey and a banana cut up in it, that's really good. And then the ones that are really exciting, of course, are like Cocoa Krispies and Frosted Flakes and Cheerios. People went nuts for things like that because they weren't so bland and they were actually good. But regardless, if it says Cheerios, it's not the Cheerio brand that you know. It's like a knockoff like Cheerio brand. So don't expect the cereals to be exactly like they are in the United States while we're on the ship. And three different cereals are put out per day and these rotate in some random order that no one knows. And then there's different milk options in the cold section as well as at least one dairy-free milk option. Also in the cold section, you'll find two types of yogurt, never Greek yogurt, always something flavored and you'll find cheese slices and meat slices like deli meat, and then you'll find sliced fruit, and it's usually watermelon, pineapple, cantaloupe, and honeydew, but this changes also depending on what's available, but it's pretty standard, and that fruit saved my life, and I loved it so much, and I'd always have watermelon and pineapple like literally every morning. And then there's one more section of foods that is set up for breakfast, and that is the toast area, where they will have two types of bread. They'll have tiny bagels, not tiny, just like smaller than your usual bagel, and some sort of English muffin type thing. And then they'll have peanut butter, two types of jam, and honey and butter. 
And my favorite things to have were the English muffin type thing toasted with peanut butter and honey or peanut butter and raspberry jam. And then of course there will be water available and two types of juices like orange juice and pineapple juice. And these juices will switch out every day as well so you'll always have something different. Okay, so let's move on to lunch. Lunch opens at 11.30 and goes till 1.30. The toast station will also be open for lunch, but there will be no bagels, no English muffins, and only one type of jelly and no honey. But you can still make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or just like toasted peanut butter and jelly. So moving to the hot area, this varies a lot more with lunch and dinner than it does with breakfast. So the first thing that you'll find at lunch is one sort of animal protein option. So their options can be like stewed beef, which is not good, I don't like it, or like stewed chicken or like stir fried chicken or like chicken wings or turkey breast or chicken breast or fried fish or baked fish. And be wary of the baked fish because there are always a ton of bones in it, so many bones, and people often say it's undercooked. But the main issue is the bones, so be careful with that. And if you have, let's say, some sort of beef option at lunch, then at dinner you're probably gonna have chicken and fish and vice versa. So they try to switch it out and switch it around. So if you don't like one option of meat, you can always have the other one at dinner. The next thing you'll find moving down the line is probably some sort of vegetarian protein like beans or sometimes tofu, but mostly beans. They do a lot of curries on the ship with like lentils. So there's protein in them. And this is sometimes served with rice at this part in the line. And then the next thing you'll see is probably some sort of steamed vegetable. And then maybe also a baked vegetable like baked sweet potatoes, which is really fun. I like sweet potatoes or like mashed potatoes or wedged potatoes, like regular potatoes or something like that. Then at every meal at the end of the line, there is some sort of pasta shape with some sort of sauce. This is something you can always count on because it's always there. There is a joke on the ship that all they feed us is pasta and potatoes, which is sort of true because pasta and potatoes can be found at basically every meal, so it's not really a joke, it's true. Moving around the corner where it was the oatmeal station for breakfast, you'll find a different type of soup every day and the soups are usually pretty good and next to the soup you'll find a fruit bowl which has apples, bananas, pears, or oranges, literally whatever they have available and this fruit bowl gets sort of iffy when we've been on the ship for longer and are further from land and are in the middle of the voyage or are doing a long crossing because fruit runs out really quickly and the fruit that is available is not that great. So if you want an apple or something, you should probably be there when lunch opens to run and get one because they run out so fast and everyone is up there right away trying to get a piece of fruit. Also in this area is where you're gonna find dessert and there is one type of dessert per meal and it switches every meal. And I'm very passionate about the desserts on this voyage. The crumble is the best and that is not debatable. And if you'd actually be interested in seeing a whole video on me ranking the desserts of Semester at Sea, I could literally do that because my friend and I made a list of the best desserts on the ship from best to worst, ranking every single one because we were so passionate about this topic. So let me know if that is something you would like to see. Then moving on to the cold section or the salad bar, you will find little sandwiches during lunch that like one is probably gonna be an animal protein one, like turkey and mozzarella, and then the other one will have like hummus on it or like avocado or something, so it's vegetarian. And then next to that, you'll find iceberg lettuce to make salads with, and sort of like salad toppings or just cut up vegetables basically. They're not very flavorful. It's usually like cucumbers, tomatoes, shredded carrots, and maybe chickpeas, and then you have one dressing option per meal. And then next to that, you'll find some cheeses again, and bread rolls and butter. And bread rolls kind of have like a cult following on the ship, but they're not like that special. They're just bread, but like they're pretty good. People really like the bread rolls. And then again, there will be water available or two types of juices or lemonade or iced tea. And these switch out every day for every meal. And again, are different at dinner as well. So now let's talk about dinner. Dinner goes from 5.30 to 7.30, and the hot section will basically be the same as lunch, but with different options, and two types of animal protein instead of one, and there will for sure be potatoes and pasta out at that section. And then there will still be the fruit bowl, the soup, and the dessert, but they will all be a different item than they were for lunch. The cold section will also be the same, the salad bar, except instead of the little sandwiches, they're gonna have composed salads, like potato salad, or some sort of cold pasta salad. And the thing that is different for dinner is that there is no toast station. So you cannot make toast. There's no peanut butter or no jelly out. And this is sad if you're like me and you like apples with peanut butter. And I actually had a friend on my voyage who brought three jars of peanut butter because she loved peanut butter so much and wanted it at every meal. 
So if you want to see my tips on packing snacks and just packing food in general for semester at sea, check out that video because maybe you're going to want to bring your own peanut butter too. Now really quickly, if you have some sort of dietary restriction, you can always ask the kitchen staff to bring you something specific and they're so nice and so accommodating that they actually will. So I knew a girl who would get baked tofu once a day because she was vegan and I knew another girl who would ask for gluten-free pasta and I knew one guy who was a raw vegan so we'd always ask for avocado so he had more calories and healthy fats in his diet and wasn't just stuck eating the apples that they had out. And that is it for meals, but now let me go over the snack bars on the ship and what is available at each one, or just like the highlights of what's available at each one. So for snack bar number one, which is in the library on deck six, you can get candy bars, chips, Doritos, Pringles, pretzels. You can get lots of different Gatorades and juices. You can get hot tea with honey. You can get ramen noodles. You can get muffins. You can get gummy bears. You can get basically any sort of snack that you would find at like a movie theater, I guess. And you can also get fresh fruit there, like apples and oranges. And then let's go up to deck nine, which is the pool deck, the pool bar there, has all of the same things that are available in the library, like the snacky options, plus freshly popped popcorn and smoothies and ice cream sundaes. The pool bar is also where you're gonna get your fancy coffee drinks, like your iced lattes and such. And it is also where you're going to order the food that you can pick up at the grill. So you order at the pool bar and then you head over to the grill on the other side of deck nine in the back of the ship. And from the grill, you can get things like Caesar salads, you can get grilled cheese, fries with seasoning, which are really good, burgers, veggie burgers, pizzas, sometimes chicken tenders if you're lucky and just overall good food that isn't available inside the ship but is fun to switch up your meals. But buying things from the snack bars and the grill can add up really quickly in your account because they cost more than the food inside the ship does because the food inside the ship is free and you're gonna be spending a lot of your money on snacks if you don't bring any of your own. So again, check out my snacking video if you want more information on what snacks to bring to save you money. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that was your rundown of all of the food that is available on the ship. It was a bit extensive, but I hope it was helpful and I hope it gave you a better idea of all the options you have. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be amazing. And leave any other questions or comments you have for me down below. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.